The unique thing about the Lung Cancer Clinic and the Chest Center at First Health of the Carolinas is that this is a multidisciplinary approach. We have at least seven different specialties that meet together every single week to review these cases. You don't get just one opinion. You get all these opinions from all these specialties and you don't even have to show up and be there. What First Health offers with a multidisciplinary chest center type model with surgeons and medical doctors working together is something that you don't normally see at a non-academic institution. So we work together to not only come up with the plan, but deliver that plan here and make it such that patients don't have to go really anywhere else to get their cancer treatment. There's been multiple studies that have shown that multidisciplinary care significantly improves patient outcomes and patient satisfaction. It also improves the speed with which we can take care of our patients. We're able to talk about that patient in real time together with all these different specialists and the patient can see multiple specialties such as medical oncology and radiation oncology all on the same day in the same appointment. First Health is proud to offer minimally invasive surgery with the Da Vinci robotic system. Robotic surgery allows our patients to have smaller incisions, they have less pain, they get out of the hospital faster, with just as good an outcome as the previous surgeries where we're making large incisions in their chest. Over the last 10 years or so, uh, surgeons like myself and surgeons who have inspired me really have strived to try to do this in a manner in which we don't have to make such a big incision and we don't have to spread the ribs apart. Spreading the ribs apart really causes a lot of pain both around the time of the operation and afterwards. People who have a, a minimally invasive approach like robotic surgery will have less blood loss, they'll have less pain, they'll be able to get back home sooner, they'll be able to get back to their activities sooner. It was not uncommon for patients to be in the hospital for seven, 10 days after conventional thoracic surgery because of air leaks alone. Since I started doing the robotic lobectomies, air leaks postoperatively are almost non-existent. So as long as you start off with a cancer that is small, and localized to the lung, surgery is possible. Then what we have to know is what is your pulmonary function like? What is your performance status like? What is the stage of the cancer and are you, are you a candidate? Your ability to really see what you're doing, control everything that's happening in the minimally invasive world in there, uh, it, it allows you to do everything. This really is the kind of thing that often people who live in rural areas will have to go to a large hospital in the city or a university hospital to get something that's this kind of state-of-the-art or cutting edge. So I really think it's a real boon for the patients of this area that we offer it.